this is an angle. This is a web page. And at the bottom of that page, we have a phone. Now, this is a new section. Now, let's connect this new point support button to the phone using an anchor. No, not that type of anchor. As you can see in our menu section, we have a request to code button, and we want to link this button straight to our request to code form that's here at the bottom of our page. Now, if we go back up, as you can see, this is on all the pages, obviously. So, what we want is even if we are on the projects page, or maybe services, on contact page, any other page, if we click on this button, what we want it to do is to bring us back to the home page and then immediately straight to this section. So let me show you how we can do that. And for this, we're going to go to our WordPress dashboard, and we're going to go to our pages. So let's locate our home page, which is here, and now we're going to edit that page with Elementor. There you go. And now that our page is open with Elementor, we can scroll down our page and locate our form, which is right here. And now we're going to select the outer section. So whatever container it is with, so it could be a section, it could be a column. So just click on this at the moment, as you can see, our outer container is a column. And then we're going to go into the advanced settings. And now we are interested in the CSS ID. So we're going to give it a specific unique ID. So let's call this maybe request hyphen A hyphen quote. So very simple to remember. Now, I like this, right click and copy, just save it for yourself, and then update our page. And this unique CSS ID will serve as an anchor, like a HTML anchor that we can locate easily on the page. Now we want to link this anchor to our request to call button. And for this, let's go to our WordPress dashboard once more. We're going to Appearance, Customize. And then we're going to click on our button here and assign it a link. And this is where we're going to install our link. So I'll just remove this for now. And we're going to simply put it like this. So let me show you very quickly. So the beginning of this uh, URL is basically your domain name. So basically that like you have on your website. Followed by a hashtag. And then the unique CSS ID. So hashtag request hyphen a hyphen quote. So like we set it up previously. So basically your domain name or slash hashtag and your unique CSS ID. Once you're done, click publish. And now we're going to go back to our front end and click on any pages. So let's click on services. So you will agree with me, we are on a totally different page. And now we're going to click on request a quote. And there you go. This is bringing us immediately to the home page. Not just that, but also immediately to our request to quote form. Now, this method will work with any page builder, not just Elementor. So it will work with WP Bakery as well. For instance, here we have a button in the menu section that says request to quote. And this button is linked immediately to this uh, form here in the photo section. So how can you change it with WP Bakery? Simply select your row, edit your row, and then scroll down your options, and as you can see, it says row ID. So it's not called CSS ID, it's row ID, slightly different, but it's the same principle. And type in request to quote, save your changes, and that's it. It works the exact same way with this editor. So let me show you very quickly. It works the exact same way. So let's go to the contact page, and then let's click on request to quote. And this will bring us automatically to the home page and right to the footer section where the contact form is located. Now we can do the same with any menu item. So if you wanted to add a menu item or link right here, you can do the same as well. So let me show you quickly how you can do that. For this, we're going to Appearance, Menus, select your primary menu. And as you can see, we have our different items here. Now we're going to add a new one. So we're going to add a custom link. So let's call this one request a quote. And then we're going to insert our link like we did before. So basically your URL forward slash hashtag request a quote. 
and then I'm going to add this to our menu, just like this, and maybe you can please look in back to your project and contact us. So let's click Save Menu, and now we can go back to our home page, and then refresh. There you go, now we have a request to call in our menu section. So let's go to the contact page, and let's click on Request to Quote. And again, it's bringing us back to the home page and immediately to our request to quote form. Oh, well, there you go, guys. This is how you can link your menu items to any section of any page of the website. I hope you found it.